Okay, let's let's sell everything. Probably not as not as good as it could have been, but we need these stat points if I want to have a chance of getting uh, Metal Greymon. I think the stats should be fine. We'll see. I definitely need to prioritize getting my hands on a uh, higher level dojo for later, though. Oh yeah, that is a huge bonus. We actually have a chance now. Well, we're gonna end up with a couple of really meaty Digimon by the time we're done with this. That'll be good. They'll be able to take hits at the very least. And if I load up on healing items, that'll help. How much, uh, what kind of stats are we getting apart from HP? I want to say it's like good for strength, but it could be wrong. Uh, st stamina and MP. Eh, I'll take it. At some point, we're also going to have to sit down and figure out what the, um, uh, we'll, we'll have to figure out what the plan is as far as, like, adventuring goes. Honestly, I'm fine with training these guys pretty much up until they hit Mega and then going out adventuring. Uh, or even past, maybe. Let's go a little bit longer. I'm gonna try and squeak as much, uh, stat points as I can out of this. Okay. I don't want to go too much because they get pissy at me. Um... I might be able to make it to Metal Guru, uh, Me Metal Greymon ish, and then they're hungry, uh, hungry, so they're pissy at me, and eh, is this game? I don't know. Whatever. What are we doing now? Egg fields. I'm just gonna keep it quick. We don't have any money because I spent it all, but I guess it's probably for the best. Let's see. So I'll check the stock market, but I've dumped everything off. See, when will I be doing Fallout again? Not a clue. Holy crap. Alright, I'm gonna pump what money I can into rugs, because that price plummeted. We could actually figure out what I could sell, too. Here, let's let's go to the let's go to the warehouse and see what I can get rid of. Okay, we wanna withdraw. Some of these have got to be worth money. Hey, let's grab all the Remedy Discs. I'm not going to be using them. All of the regular MP Discs. I'm not going to be using them. Regular Recovery Discs. Never going to even be touching them again. Tack Plugins. Most of these I'm going to hold on to. Digistocks. Scratchy Grass. I don't even know if Scratchy Grass has a value. Oh yeah, what about fish? We ended up with quite a lot of fish there. Anything else? I guess I should probably sort based on things. I might almost be able to get Bobber and Anemon here. Not that I'm not I uh, not that I'm entirely sure if I want to. Anyway, let's let's get rid of the ginseng, the Sakura bird radishes. They have to have some value, and since they don't just give me straight up stats, it doesn't really seem worthwhile. Okay. Let's do item shop. There we go. Hey, do I have all the bomber and animal parts? I think I do. I've just been really lazy about... Uh, I've been really lazy about... Um, going back and turning it in because I've been waiting until I could get ice... Ice spawn? Ice spawn. Ooh, those Digibitterlings are worth a fair amount of money. Same thing with the Digiparisu, or whatever it's called. Digistocks, not worth that much. Plugins are useless. I mean, they're not useless, but I just don't have a use for them. Okay, so that's actually a fair amount of cash. I don't think I'm going to drop off anything else. Okay, uh... I guess we might as well warp to the stock market. I don't actually know if it's faster. I think it is. Mainly we just end up directly next to it. Anyway, so I've bought as many rugs as I can possibly grab. Let's grab as many lithographs as I can grab. And let's start stocking up on bone ornaments again. Especially now that I can buy 20 of each. Okay, and back here. 
Yeah, worst comes worst, we sell more tomorrow. Okay. Back to HP training, seeing as that's the only stat that we know about Metal Greymon. We might as well start, uh... Or continue pumping as much uh, stat stat training as we possibly can into it. Because, yeah, I would like a Metal Greymon. I doubt I'm going to get a War Greymon, just because that's even harder. But, as long as we don't end up with an Orange War Growlmon, I'll be happy. I am kind of disappointed, though, that they even have Orange War Growlmon. Like, I don't know. I, I'd i be okay... No, you know what? Here it is, plain and simple. Recolors are fine if I don't have to end up with them. I'd be... I, like, okay, there are a couple of uh, exceptions. I'm pretty down with, like, uh, you know, the the black Agumon Gabumon line. Like, I'm pretty down with that. Feel free to lay that on me. But, like, Orange War Grelmon? This is not even, does not even have, like, a, a plot. Like, relevance. Oh yeah, we are gonna be able to get probably some of the stats for Metal Greymon. It's not some weight, it's a lot of weight. Okay, yeah, we might start getting hunks of meat. I've been throwing best meat at them, which should be okay. Um, But, like, you know, Black War Greymon had a huge plot... Uh, had a huge plot presence in Season 2, from what I've read. And heard from people. And so that kind of makes sense. I need 1500 stamina and strength. Well, that's hardly an issue. The only issue is, uh, we're lacking HP. Because my stamina and strength are way into the thousands. It's just our HP was low because we weren't getting as much of it from, um, from monster training. I wonder if there's, like, a, a, some kind of balancing system for stats. Uh, for the underdog, beyond just the underdog bonus. There might be, actually. I'd have to take a look at it. But yeah, so all we need is the HP, and then we should be with it. Uh, we should be capable of getting Met Metal Greymon, maybe. Just a little bit more, and then I can actually probably train like Wisdom and some other stats, maybe Speed. I haven't really looked into what uh, Gabumon can become. We'll figure that out. Pretty quick. Okay, I'm getting tired. Getting poopy. Ah, uh, what do we want to do? Let's see, is it as hard to get the Digimon you want as in World 1 in this game? Uh, no. You can lock it off. Stat training is a lot easier. Some other things like that. Yeah, that's why we didn't rest. It's sleepy time. Okay. Wait, why did I just tell them to sleep? It's food time. Okay, so now let's let's go grab our our daily food and whatever. Okay, so we wanna we wanna work these fields here for a second. Just because the quality's starting to drop. Not that the extra meat is really maybe worth the time. I don't know, that's an interesting question. Okay. So yeah. Price for rugs has dropped heavily compared to that first day. Um, I think that's when I sold them all. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, so I'm gonna burn all of my money grabbing as many as I can grab. We should probably go out money farming at some point, or just liquidate things based on price. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, training. Let's see. We want to do... I guess it... Yeah, we need to go to Gigi Mon's house. I might as well pick up the, uh... 
we might as well pick up the porta potty outside. Not that I really use them as much as you'd think I would, but it's a good idea to get his uh, have a good stock. The worst thing would be running out. That'd be bad. I guess we could always use an autopilot to get back whenever whenever we want. Okay. Anyway, back to training. And hopefully, Metal Greymon. Well, I don't know. We're still gonna need like a day or two before we get Metal Greymon. We could actually conceivably fly out and start fighting those Saber Dramon. Oh, is he digivolving? Oh! You're digivolving. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. I was actually hoping I could, uh... Utilize that underdog bonus a little bit longer than I did. Well, we still get a Garurumon, which is nice. Which means I can actually go save Icemon now. But yes, we need it. We need that underdog bonus to clear the gap between these two. Here's the problem. If you look at them, one of them has like three times the stats that the other one does. Okay, one more. Well, I guess we might as well go... Let's go to the hospital. Okay, praise them. Yeah, I really probably should have gone back and taken a look at... Uh, I should have taken a look at what Gabumon could turn into. Just so we actually knew. Okay, anyway. We want to take life from one to the other. Fluffy to toast. The other option is we actually have them... Well, we could always use a Devil Chip to kill one early. I don't know when we're going to get one of those. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Fluffy to Toast. Yeah, Toast is Gururumon. I'm aware. Yeah, so the problem is ultimately my Gururumon has uh, garbage stats in comparison to my Greymon. And there's not an easy way for me to fix that. I guess... If I can get it so that Fluffy is always one gen up, it won't be so bad. Okay, we, we might as well pursue that uh, that day bonus while we're here. Not that Wisdom is actually nearly as useful as you'd think it would be. It is good, but still. Okay. Let's, let's take a look. Partner, history. Okay, so you can become... Mock Gagamon, Grappliomon, or Weregurumon. So we need 300, 3,000 wisdom. Oof. That's rough. And yeah, okay. So there's a very real possibility we're not going to hit Weregurumon this time around. Grappliomon seems very possible, though. Mirage Gagamon, or Mock Gagamon, obviously. Whereas Metal Greymon, yeah, looks like we're good stat wise for this guy. So, wisdom training. Let's see. Regarding Subnautica, how are you enjoying the game? Do you think it will do well when it releases? Well, I think it's going to do well when it releases, no matter what. Uh, you For me, for YouTube, probably less so, just because. I mean, I think it's going to do okay. Um, But I think, as far as, like, actual, like, success goes, uh, Subnautica is absolutely, like, a hole-in-one for that studio. They managed to make a... Uh, a, you know, survival sandbox game that is actually good. That's kind of a rare thing. Because most of them tend to be pretty bad. I put it in the same vein as, like, Don't Starve in a lot of cases. Maybe not quite as good, but still. Uh, they'll be tired within an hour or two. So we can just go this direction. But yeah, I, I personally really like Subnautica and I think it's going to turn out well. The only thing is, I really wish Subnautica was actually multiplayer. I would so love to play Subnautica with like a crew of three people to float around and do stuff. 
Let's see, what generation am I on? Six, I think? I want to say I'm on Gen 6. It's been a while. Since I've exactly counted. Okay, so we got to start watching Gururumon's weight. There's a very real possibility we might still be able to get a Wear Gururumon here. But I'm not entirely sure. But we are going to need crazy wisdom for this. Which I, d I don't think we're going to be able to get up to. I think it's going to be whatever that middle one is. So to some degree, I don't I don't know what I want to do. I guess we'll just keep doing uh, training anyway, just because this this is much faster. Yeah, I oh here we go. I was actually really hoping that I'd be able to have a bit of a chance to have um, super powered fluffy train up toast here, but it didn't work out. Anyway, progress chart. So yeah. I don't know about Metal Greymon Blue. I have no idea what the stats are required, but it's very likely that we're going to get Metal Greymon. Considering we got the other stats for it. Unfortunately, yeah, probably Grappliomon. Well, if it doesn't turn out if it doesn't turn out the way trained by fighting the high-level Digimon that Toast can kill. Uh, I don't think I don't think my stats are good enough yet. I mean, we could maybe. Okay, you know what? Let's let's fly out to mod mod cape and see what we can do. Have I have I done anything? We're getting a lot of meat from that. Okay, uh, stock market. It, I I guess I'll go out and try and fight the saber demon. I just don't know if it's actually going to work well. Okay, we'll just do that. I can't afford anything else, but those rugs go up in price. We'll be in a great spot. Okay, uh, so we want to do... Crap. Um, I just realized something mildly frustrating. Yeah, I guess I gotta... I gotta sell... We'll sell these. That should get me to mod cape. Let me see. So we want to we want to go to the sender. Hopefully. Okay, yeah, we can afford to go to Mod Cape just barely. Let's see if we get uh let's see if we get proper stats from this. If we don't get to go get a whole lot of stats from Saber Demon, I'm going to have to nix the idea. Cuz we weren't getting great stats from Greymon. Uh, or we weren't getting as many stats as we were earlier, but we might have an easier shot at it now. Oh yeah, I should probably also make sure that they've got the proper moves here. I know, we'll figure it out. Okay, and the answer is... Yeah, unfortunately we only get strength and speed. And not in high enough quantities. Let's see, so he has Mock Jab. I'll take Mock Jab. What else can we afford? I mean, we could go all the way up to Heavy Rain, but I think let's do Waterfall for the time being. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Anyway, let's let's sprint to the end as like as fast as possible. I'll fight the Seedramon. Uh, because if we could actually find something that gives Garurumon 26 stats across the board, I'm down for it. Uh, just because we don't have an underdog bonus to exploit right now. But if we did, that could work really well for me. Uh, the other thing we should probably go do is Bomber Nanamon, and, um... We should go get the Bomber Nanamon parts, uh, turned in, and Icemon. 
because we have a Garurumon right now, he can use Ice Mon moves. Like, I don't want to gimp my my run just to get Ice Mon, but at the same time... Okay, so Seedramon are good good stats, so that's a, that's a good sign that we can grind Garurumon stats here with these guys. I'm probably going to want to switch my moves around here. Uh, well, no. Okay, we'll be able to fight the Saber Demon. No problem. But I think I'm going to have to give uh, Where Garurumon something a little bit cheaper. His stats just aren't quite good enough for this. Luckily, his HP is crazy high. Which is super useful. Is Toy Agumon in this? Yep. Though I haven't discovered if I can get him, necessarily. Alright, uh, partner. Attack skill, toast. So instead of waterfall, let's... Let's see. So that's the ratio of two. Hail Spear, Splash. Let's go Hail Spear. It's cheaper and should do a decent amount, maybe. Yeah, so there might be a chance to get a Wear Guru room on here, but it'd be rough. Actually, I haven't looked at how many um, stat points we're getting on the uh, on Greymon here. You got Toy Agumon earlier. I did. You sure? Oh yeah. I did. You're totally correct. I it went uh, Toy Agumon. Um, into Orange War Growlmon, or Orange Orange Growlmon. I yeah, I totally forgot about that. Whoopsie. Well, this is kind of a crappy situation to be in. Yeah. So the problem is because Greymon is weak to ice, uh, he gets stunned really easily. At least I think that's the case. I think I like Greymon. Oh, I like Greymon. Sorry, I, I'm I'm brain farting because I'm trying to figure out like what the hell's going on in this combat situation. We definitely want to stay away from uh, Daomon, Daomon, Duomon. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, just because that that thing is gonna mess me up real bad. Okay, we should probably throw a medium recovery disc at Gururumon. Unfortunately, his stamina is stupid low. His HP is great, but his actual stats are a little bit less good than I thought it was going to be. Okay, well, let's see. So yeah, Greymon's not getting a whole lot of good stats from this. But it is it is netting um, Garurumon a decent amount. So I guess I'll call this a uh, worthwhile endeavor. Let's see. Do I have access to the Aguna Wastelands Bunny Resort? Uh, I do. Um, I'll look into farming them later. Un unfortunately, bits, apple, and meat, not exactly what I'm looking for yet. Mainly, I'm just trying to get these guys up, uh, so they're decently strong. God damn, the Seedramon, though, is very angry at Garurumon. Which is an issue. So yeah, I... I'll probably go out of my way to get the Ice Mon. Part of it is we're poor, but luckily Greymon is going to Digivolve well before Garurumon. So that gives me a little bit more time. Yeah, we might actually be able to make uh, make aware Garurumon. Also be able to get a fair amount of cash here. Which is nice. Okay. Let's get this, but, uh, yeah, so, so, Metal Garurumon is going to be a thing well before, uh, where Garurumon or whatever he digivolves into is a thing. So that means I can, uh, that means as soon as we get a Metal Greymon, we head over to the mountain, we get Bomber Nanamon, we get Icemon, and then we come back for, for a crazy boosted training. I think I'll keep stealing life from one to the other, too. I don't know if it makes him younger, though. That's an interesting question. I'd love to know the answer on that. Because you might be able to do some, like, crazy things here and there. Probably not too much, though. Right, let's 
let's give these two these guys a wide berth. Oh, and there's a digivolution. Well, I guess we'll go see about ice ball. Eh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I got to see what uh, what age they are too. Yep, there's Metal Greymon. I always loved Metal Greymon's design, even if it bothered me a little bit because it's implied he's totally mechanical on in the inside, which is kind of freaky looking. Okay. Well, let's get this. We'll sneak outside and let's see about those. Okay, she does not go back to town. She just gives lots of money. Oh, that's mildly disappointing then. Yeah, and oop. before I do anything, partner, attack skill, fluffy. So we have fire tower, which is always reasonable. And we could get a uh, gigawatt laser. We could get war cry. We could get anti-attack field. Or we can get metal claw. Well, crazy laser. Did we actually hit it? We did. It's destroying it. Unfortunately, it's also destroying my mana pool. Which is a bit rough. I'll probably go for something a little bit cheaper. Alright, so these are actually garbage stats on the Gururumon. Oh, that's good to know. How much money do I have, Tamer? I got 5,000. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, uh... Let's partner, attack skill, Fluffy, instead of Gigawatt Laser, let's switch down to an anti-attack field for the time being. Okay. So we wanna, let's see, anti-attack field. It's good and it's bad. It's got a decent amount of damage, but it's got less of a charge up. Does it hit? Yeah, it does hit. But yeah, it's not actually worth worth me fighting these uh, Saber Dramon. I was hoping they give me more stats, but it's either Siege Dramon or Bust, and at this point I don't feel like feeding, fighting the Sa Saber Dramon, because they'll mess mess me up something fierce. So anyway, I wanted a... Nah, screw it. This simply isn't worth my time. I mean, it kind of is, it kind of isn't. So we're going to autopilot back. We're gonna go, we're gonna go get our hands on, um... On Ice Mon. Oh, right, I should go get all of the, uh, Bomber Nanomon parts. We'll be rolling around that area. I don't think we're gonna be able to get a whole lot of stats from those Digimon, unfortunately. Anyway, store. Anyway, so we want Bomber Nanomon, Bomber Nanomon, everything. Five parts, correct? Yeah, it looks like it. Let's see. So we want to go Logic Volcano. Probably just regular Logic Volcano for the time being. And then we'll come back and do training. How did Metal Greymon get so much HP without already dying from overtraining? Eh? Uh, you get better train. Uh, you get better training as like training stuff as you go along. Plus, you can abuse certain mechanics. You're never gonna be able to get a uh, uh, Metal Greymon Gen One, but you might be able to do it by like Gen Five or Six or something like that. It's always interesting. I just re. Uh, I just realized I should probably mo make note of this. Metal Greymon also has hair, and yeah, he's got wings, too. It's interesting when going from one to the other, because Agumon, Greymon, Metal Greymon, they all make sense. War Greymon, I guess also makes sense. You know what? He had hair, too, didn't he? I forgot that. Anyway, I don't think the uh, Marimon are worth anything. But yeah, we can finally, we can finally go get Icemon. So that's, that's kind of the main reason why I'm here. 
Okay. Yellow. Ah, uh, I'm melting. Please help. While I stay at, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, I'm melting. Please help. While I still have my strength. Toast used an ice attack on Icemon. Ah, uh, looks like I've stopped melting. Woo, thanks. I may love the heat, but my body doesn't. But now I can stay here a little longer. Here's a token of my thanks. We got HP mini chips. I hope you'll come back. I'll need your help if I start melting again. Ah, oh, come on. All right, whatever. We'll get him at a later date. When he actually is, uh... We'll actually go back and get him when we have a Mega that can actually unfreeze him every single time. That's inconvenient. Well, whatever. Cause yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste precious training time freezing him every single day. If we manage to get Metal Garurumon, I think we'll be in a fine position. But as it stands, not worth it right now. Okay, uh, so we'll do this. We'll go back and train. Honestly, I think we'll go back and save. It's probably about time for me to finally switch games again. It's nice to play about two and a half hours of a game. However, I will say, considering this took me two and a half hours to get to this point in a training cycle, there's a very large temptation on mine to every time we hit a uh, this point in a training cycle, I actually just skip past it. Grinding is fun and all, but after a while, it also gets a little bit boring. I guess the I'll t I'm just gonna throw a porta potty at you guys. Uh, grinding is fun as all. Uh, and all. It's just also nice to actually make some progress. Either that or I just do the thing where I uh, I loop loop grind like three or four times in a row. That might almost make the most amount of sense. How many gens down the line was it until you got your first mega? Three. I think it was my third generation. I did really well there. Whoops. I like as I'm fighting these guys. Not that they do nearly as much damage. Also an anti-attack field is ridiculous. Got Mega's Gen 1. No. It was it was definitely Gens 2 or 3. So you're reading the training and fights actually works in this game is it pauses time while battling. Yeah, uh so fight training is actually way better. The only thing um The only thing you have to make sure is you're actually capable of fighting things. I don't know, whatever. Hey! I've seen you've gotten all the parts! Good job! You returned all the parts to Bomber Nanamon. The Bomber Nanamon regenerated. Hehe. <laughs> right. Now I can say what I wanted to say. Huh? Sorry. I've completely forgotten what I wanted to ask you. Although you've already done a lot of hard work for me. Let's just put it the past behind us. Here's a little something to say thanks. Don't worry. Those stones don't explode. If you want an explosion, use them for Digivolution. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, well, that was disappointing. All right. Um, but yeah, so training in battles is actually very viable. That's what we were doing at the start of this session. The only thing is it is much more time consuming, but it does get you higher stats. Um, uh, it's also better if you have really strong rookies, which is part of the reason why uh, I, I'm not a big fan of doing it, because after a while, it just becomes a bit of a slog. Whereas the gym, I can kind of like blitz through several digivolutions fairly quick. Um, battle training takes a long time because you have to do every fight and there's no way to speed up actual game time. Shut up, you're... Why are you tired? We haven't done anything today. Okay. Oh, I don't... Care about mod cape. Oh. Maybe part of that is I don't know, whatever. Anyway, from fluffy to toast. There we go. Okay, and let's go back to let's go back to the training hall. Yeah, I totally forgot they have disliked places. That might be why they were desynced as far as like tiredness goes. Okay, so at the very least we do get a growth burst boost for at least some amount of time here. I might be able to use that. 
to get myself a Warg Realm on. It just depends on time. Okay. So yeah, wisdom it up. Because yeah, we need like 3,000 wisdom. We might be able to make it. At least we'll get a like huge, huge stat bonus here. Um, and it'll give Garurumon uh, the chance to catch up. If Garurumon is always behind Metal Greymon by like three days, that probably will work the best. Let's see. I know this is a very minute detail and likely means little, but I'm curious anyways. Rhyme or reason that sometimes gotta catch them all, sometimes there's a question mark, otherwise an exclamation mark. Actually, uh, okay, so this is this is a stream-related question. I actually have, as far as I know, I've never titled any of my streams gotta catch them all with an exclamation mark. I always said it as a question mark because it's Digimon, not Pokemon. So it's kind of a, a goofy... Uh, it's kind of a goofy in-joke for me, because obviously this isn't Pokemon. Um, but, I mean, I could have it be like Digimon are the champions if I really wanted to. I'm not even going to waste time on that. We've got limited time here. Um, but yeah, it's just a goofy in-joke for me, because that's that's why it's a question mark. This one is. Really? Ah, shit. I screwed it up. Okay, whatever. Normally it's supposed to be a question mark, but I, I today is the day I duped it. Oh, well. Anyway, I can't afford much of this. Let's actually, let's save our money for the stock related right now. Well, I'd change it, but I'm busy. Yeah, so I, I did, I did screw it up. This is the first time I've, I've messed that one up and I feel dumb now. I guess I was excitable because I was playing Digimon again. Anyway, uh, back to training hall. I really want to get the, uh, I, I really want to get a Wear Guru room on. It's just the chances of getting it maybe a little bit lower than I'd like it to be. Be great if one of the uh, Digimon's disliked places is just straight up the town. It's like, I don't like being here! They get pissy at you and really tired. You can save scum the stock market. Really? Didn't know that. Okay, well, we might be able to, at, ver at the very least, get the Wisdom requirement for Where Guru Ramon. The, uh, other stats, not, not sure. At least this way we'll be able to do some pretty nice things. Okay, now we go to the hospital. Let's praise them. Let's see, we wanna... We wanna give life from Fluffy to Toast. We'll figure out how much we wanna do. I don't wanna, like, move it too much, cause that, that could be too many days. But a little bit is a good idea. Okay, so back to the training hall. Cause yeah, if one's always behind the other, then we'll always have the underdog bonus. Uh, and it should kind of balance everything out. What stat did I just train? I think it was strength. That was that was a whoops. I mean, I think we need strength points anyway. Yeah, we desperate desperately need strength. I just know I need uh like three thousand wisdom. Let's see if this is even remotely viable. <laughs> no, it's not. Me getting a Wear Guru on seems completely, completely ridiculous right now. I just hope we don't end up with another Mach Galgamon. So what do we have? War Greymon. All right, so we got the stats for it. His discipline needs to be higher, but that's not a problem. Kaiser Greymon. Alphamon. Wow, these are actually some pretty good choices. I don't know what the last one's going to be. But yeah, whatever we get out of Metal Guru Mon is going to be awesome. Let's see, is it... 
Possible to exploit the days by joggers. I have no idea, actually. Well, I'll start with Wisdom, then we'll move on to Speed. There's going to be a lot of training until these guys both hit Ultimate. And even then, they might... Uh, this might still be a lot of training. Okay, so let's do Speed. Because, yeah, we need even more Speed. Then we need on Wisdom. Hence why I'm like, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna get the chance to get my wear, uh, my wear guru room on here. It's possible, but unlikely. Especially with age and whatnot, because I've been life vampir vampiring. Here, oh, nope, there's our Digivolution. Well, I guess I can explore around and do some other things, maybe. Well, <sighs> Grappliomon, probably. Just don't be a Mach Gaugamon. Good! Uh oh! What?! What?! Alright! I get it! I'm very confused. I guess the key Digivolution or stuff like that makes a difference. Well, we got these two. Unfortunately, the idea of getting a uh, Metal Guru on. You don't need all of the requirements. Yeah, but I didn't even... I don't think I even had like half of them. Yeah, I met most of the stats of the others. I think it's just... We met a lot of the other stats and... You know what? Screw it, whatever. I'm not going to question mark it. Well, I'm not going to question it. I'm going to question mark it. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can learn some of our Digivolutions here. Actually, I actually have to say, this is a really nice looking Wergarurumon. Like, the tail and the face and whatever. He looks nice. I want to say Wergarurumon looks really garbage. Um, in Cyber Sleuth. But maybe it's just because I don't remember particularly well. Okay. Yes, I have like zero money. Oh, but I can't sell all this. Do we? Sure. Buy these. Should have bought them while they're cheap. But whatever. Let's buy all 20 pots, too. I don't know about the rugs. Maybe when the price goes back down. Black War Guru Mon. My problem with uh, Black Wear Guru Mon is the camo pants. It just never looks right. It just looks odd to me, even though, like, it totally makes sense from, like, a recolor perspective. It's just, it's just weird. I don't know. Alright, so let's get some items. I think let's save now. I haven't saved this whole session. That's, that's probably bad. At least I've been recording the whole session. Anyway, uh, right. The last thing I wanted to do was partner... History. Okay, so what can you go into? Metal Guru Ramon, Magna Guru Ramon, and I don't know about the other two. Alright. Well, we're getting, we're probably getting War Greymon. His stats are insane. Alpha Mon, not so much so, but I also don't care about Alpha Mon. So there's that too. Anyway. <laughs>